Hello, my name is Patisha and I am a young enthusiastic student of mechatronics engineering. Today I am going to share my solid modeling project on SOLIDWORKS. I will be explaining how I made this project, which tools I use in project of in making this project. So this is my project as you people can see. This is a 3D model of a rover which contains uh, many assemblies like I can show you over here. Here is the rocker bogey assembly. This is the assembly and there is this back assembly which contains the drilling uh, drilling mechanism with it and uh, there is a gripper assembly which allows this robot to grip objects and there is uh, this robotic arm assembly so this is the robotic arm assembly and uh, then comes the uh, main assembly the this hole which we combine together over here Uh, there is one more assembly in the Sorocco assembly and that is the assembly of motor which as it contains uh, we will discuss it later what components it contains in it which actually contains a stator and rotor I will be showing you shortly how I made that okay now we will be moving on our parts of this uh, rover what it includes is first of all it comes the main box comes so this is the main box of the rover here uh, these cylinders uh, attach with the rover and uh, these are the two joints for the drilling mechanism and here it folds back into it that mechanism there is a circle where Robotic arm attached. This is the light slot where the light attaches. So these are the places, and this circle is where camera uh, camera rod is attached. So these components attach uh, in this main assembly like that. Now I will moving on our next part. So these are small parts. I can show you from here. Uh, these are small parts of and drilling mechanism this is the joint then comes this joint where um, it contains the drill bit in it then comes then a drill bit in it yeah this is the drill bit present in it I can show you Yes, so this is how the drill mechanism works. This is the drill bit, which can fold back in and then comes out. This hole can fold in, and this system then contracts back to its contraction position. So, after doing that, I have this um, robotic arm assembly. I'll be opening it show you people yes here it is so this robotic arm contains uh, two actuators this and this one and there is a base of this old robotic arm which is attached to the motor uh, from here and uh, then there is the main rods of the of the robotic arm so it is joined with the pins you can uh, contract the size of this uh, robotic arm. You can make it smaller, you can make it large. And here is the part where the main, uh, your robotic uh, gripper uh, attaches. So it can move like that. It, it moves in circular uh, form and this robotic arm contracts back to this position as a limit. To this position, so we will moving on to the next assembly. 
And the next one we have is yeah. so uh, before moving on the next time we are be discussing this uh, cameras on this robotic arm so this is a rod and another joint is on this rod of this camera and this is a 360 rotatable camera and uh, and yeah it has three parts or four parts i think no it's five parts uh, one part is this second is this third is this fourth one is this and the fifth one is this camera okay then after this camera we have the second camera at the back so this is the main part which is joined with the uh, main body uh, one uh, camera is attached to the robotic arm and the second one is attached to the main body so it is also a 360 360 camera as you can, can see it has a uh, one more component and uh, this is a base for this camera uh, okay after that we have light as I've shown this was a light slot I uh, placed the light over here so this light we have the gripper assembly so this is the gripper arm we have gripper assembly also yes here it is so this is the gripper assembly it contains 26 part uh, this I hope you can see so the scraper assembly ca contains a screw and this screw helps is attached with the motor and when this motor rotates the screw moves and because of the motion of the screw this uh, this joint on the screw moves which is attached with this gripper and uh, when it moves forward the gripper expands and when it moves backward the gripper contracts the position between it and it helps it to uh, grip the things easily so this is the motion after that I have this is done no rocker bogey is not done so this rocker bogey mechanism yes so so it contains this main rod attached with the two wheels and this is also one component for attaching the wheel and uh, then this is the second one rod uh, rod 2 which also helps the so head is a joint it joins the two rods and then uh, one rod has attachment of two wheels two motors and the second one has only one joint with the motor after that we attach uh, motors and wheels with it so first we'll discuss wheel and then we'll go to motors so this is a wheel quite a large wheel for the rover because the rover is very large so it has bolts and there's a shaft between it so this is our wheel and I'll be opening this motor assembly. As you can see, I've trust loosened this motor, and so this is, is a stator, and this part is the rotor, and this is the covering of the motor. There is three parts in it. This was motor assembly. Yes, all it contains is, and then it is motors connected with the wheel with the help of this shaft. So, this is our rocker bogey assembly. So after doing that, we'll move to towards the science box at the back. science box so this uh, spot over here is actually attached to the main body so so it has 
two linear actuators which push it back and uh, there are three linear actuators which push it downwards and this base this base has this motor which moves and this uh, is the I should show you spot this part actually what I do is here the drills drill bit go down and then it rotates and then pours the uh, soil or any new material that it, it uh, has in it uh, it uh, it's actually a sample collecting uh, part so after it this was our this is the covering actually this box is the covering so the samples get protected and uh, then they fold back and contract I'll be showing you from the main assembly how this process works so so after this okay I can show you from here first it moves back then it moves down and then this drill mechanism happens and then it pulls back and after pouring the samples it contracts and then it moves back and then in the system so just like that okay after this size box gripper is done so as is all of the system how every system works after explaining that i will be showing you the animation i made for this project and some rendering pics also